What is up guys, uh, today I'm coming back with another tutorial, and uh, this time I'm going to be showing you how to make this like uh, epic sort of thing here. Um, it's pretty dang cool if I do say so myself. Um, you can see there's like vines and stuff, and it's, it looks really, and there's some like smoke, and it, the lighting's really good, it looks super cool, um, so I'm going to show you how to make that. Um, so first off are the vines, there are, there are two different ways you can make vines, and um, I guess first, you're going to want to set up your render settings. Um, this is what I have, 32% saturation for the color correction, object glow, ambient occlusion, uh, PNGs. Alpha channel is not going to work for this, so don't do that. Um, 9020 by 1080 the classic stuff here. Got a camera. That's it. So, um, first, I'm going to show you how to make it with like uh, splines and stuff. So. This is the way I would not recommend this way, but um, this would be good if you're gonna have them like on the floor or something of like whatever you're doing or whatever. I don't I don't know, but that might it might be better for this. I don't know. Um, but these are pretty simple to make. Um, so yeah, we'll make like a floor object, I guess. Um, let's see, what does that look like? Okay, it looks really crappy, but that's okay. So um, yeah, now you're gonna want to switch to a freehand spline, all right? And um, and then click up here so you can get all the different camera views. So on this one, you're gonna want to just draw out what your vine, what you want your vine to look like. So we can just do like a squiggly line like that maybe, all right? And uh, go back here by clicking this one. All right. So now you can see it's right there. Now you're gonna switch to you're just gonna make a regular spline, all right? Just like the usual stuff. And you're just gonna do sweep nerves and can no no circle. Alright, and uh, you're just going to put it all in there. Get in there. Alright, usual stuff. Circle down to like four, three. <laughs> um, yeah, now you've got your like little vine thing. And um, you're going to want to get like a vine texture. So, like this one, <laughs> just free. Drag it on there, and if we render it out, let's see, we have ourselves a little vine thingy. And if you get a bunch of them, then you can have like a cool little vine design. But that's not what I would recommend doing. I personally, let's get rid of this and this. I would personally recommend. I don't need this anymore. I would recommend going out and grabbing this plugin. This is this is what I would. This is what I used. Um, it's called Ivy Grower. It's a great plugin. Um, it's free. And you can grab it. There'll be a link in the description for it. Um, you just choose your version and install it. Pretty easy. Just drag and drop into your like plugins folder for Cinema 4D. There's a lot of tutorials on it, so if you have any questions, just go watch the tutorial. Um, yeah, it's a great plugin. I really like it. So once you've got the plugin, all right, we're gonna go back to Cinema 4D, and you're gonna want to make your text or whatever your logo or whatever you want the vines to go around. So uh, I'm gonna grab Mo Text. All right, there we go. All right, mo text, and just lay that out. Um, I'm just gonna make it one letter just for render speeds and stuff. Um, I'm just gonna make it. Uh, I'll make it as an O because O's are usually pretty simple for vines. Um, make it like 60. Um, I don't know, I'll add some caps, I guess. You don't have to do this. Just make your text however you would want to make it. All right. So now we've got our O. Nothing, nothing too special. Um, so now that you've gotten your thing all set up, you're going to want to. I, I just uh, it just has to be perfectly centered. All right, now you're gonna want to get your vines, obviously. So you should have a camera for this, so you can move around and then go back to your camera, so you know, like that. Um, so we're gonna zoom in, and you're gonna go to your plugins and grab Ivy Grower. All right, so plugins Ivy Grower. You're gonna click on it, and it's gonna open up a little thing down here, and you're gonna get like, these little dots on your cursor or whatever. You're gonna want to go over here and go to growth, right? And it'll say like grow IV, and there'll be all these settings. Don't touch any of the settings, okay? 
because they will probably just like it'll just make it look worse like it's it, like just don't touch them they look good anyway so um yeah so you're gonna need to pick a point on your like text for where you want the ivy to start growing so you're probably gonna want to go down to like the bottom of it or something and um you gotta click onto your like text or your logo or whatever and it doesn't work for some objects like if you put like fracture on your logo or text it's probably not gonna work because it didn't work for me so I don't know why it does that but you're gonna want to click onto it right and then double click down here and it'll you'll get like a little dot thing. See a little dot right there and then you can double click again to like change it that's probably where you want it like down here somewhere alright so now you've got your little dot you're going to probably want to zoom out again go back to your camera whatever alright so you got your little dot Good, go back go back to your plugin alright and then once you have the little dot just click grow ivy and you're gonna notice all these little blue lines alright and once once they look like there's like enough for you click stop growing alright and you can see all these little blue lines everywhere and that's the, like the ivy roots that's where the ivy is gonna be alright and so if you're satisfied with this and you can keep growing it if you want more or whatever stop and go whatever um, once, once you're satisfied with the amount of IV, you're going to click birth and give birth. Alright, and you could probably mess with these settings, um, but I'm not going to, because uh, they're probably what you want. Um, so click give birth, and now you're going to have IV. Alright, so now you can see that there's IV all over it. And you can just render it out quickly. And see, it looks pretty cool. Like, it's already got all the textures all built in. It's, it's all good. Alright, I'm going to leave a little, like, file here. Don't touch any of that, because it'll, it'll mess it up. Um, so if you want any more IV, like, if you, maybe, maybe you want some on the side, like, over here or something, you can just click again, and it'll leave another point. And you can go back to your IV grower, and grow some more IV. And then click birth, and you're going to have some more over there. You can do this as many times as you want, unlimited, unlimited times. Um, if you have a nice computer, I mean, you can do it a lot. Um, but if you don't have such a great computer, you might not want to make so much IV because it, it does make your computer work harder. There's a lot of it because you're pretty much making like a lot of little like lines and stuff. And it's kind of it's kind of difficult on your computer. Your computer does not love all these little lines and intricate things that grow IV. Give birth. Okay. I don't know, it's a bit much on the IV, but... Alright, so now that you are... When, you, when you're satisfied with the amount of IV that you have on your text, um, that that's pretty much the tutorial right there. I mean, um... Yeah, so that's how you make the ivy. Now I'm going to show you how to make it more epic, how you can make it look super sway. So we're going to take our camera and we're going to zoom in. And we're going to take more of like a sideways look at this O or your whatever you have. And so it'll be like this. So now, now it already looks cool. Like it's already super sway. <laughs> and um, yeah, and I might even want to get rid of these. To be honest with you, just because they kind of look weird because you're just in a small little spot, and uh, these ones too. Get rid of those. All right, now it looks cooler. What is this? Get, what are you doing? Where is my camera? Which one is that? This one. I not want to. Okay. Bird clock every time. All right, so now that you like the look of this, you're gonna want to probably you're probably gonna want to put a grunge texture on this. And unfortunately, I deleted all my textures um, just because I needed more I needed more disk space. So I actually I actually deleted all my grunge textures. So um, yeah, that's a problem. Uh, let's see where do I. See, I like cleared out my entire folder, so now all I have is just my Lightrooms and um, my own studio. See what we have in there, I guess. Frick. Holy crap, that did stuff. 
Um, okay, I must have had something going on in here. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I have any grunge. I think these are all just like, oh, never mind. I stand corrected. I don't know if these work though, because I don't know if I have the textures for them. No, might. Um, jeez. Uh, that's it. Yes. I, I I never use the studio, so I have no clue what's in here. We'll try this one. We'll see what this looks like. Holy frick. Um, Alright, well, you're going to want to get your grunge texture. Let me just see if I can get it to look not sucky. Oh, jeez. No, don't do that. Um, I'm going to pause the video here and get a good texture just because I obviously don't have any. So, we're right back. Just get your grunge texture and, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have this not that, not super great, uh, grunge texture. That's okay. Um, so now that you've got your texture, you're going to add some lighting. Yay. So, uh, okay, let's just switch around to this side. Back it up a little bit. All right. So, um, so for our lighting, we're gonna add a, and we're gonna add a target light. We're gonna add a target light, all right. And um, so yeah, target light. Um, you're gonna go down here into the light settings, and you're gonna change it to a um, the shadow to shadow map soft, and visible light volumetric. Okay, so now it's gonna do stuff. Um, yeah, now it's going to do stuff. And um, you're going to go over here to noise, and you're going to make it both soft turbulence. Um, I'm going to change the octaves. You're going to bring that up a little bit. Velocity will probably leave it the same. Uh, brightness. Bring it down to like negative 20. Contrast. Bring it down to like 80. Alright, and now you can just go see what that looks like. I'm actually going to take off my render settings just for this, um, just because this is really slowing it down. Um, okay, that did absolutely nothing. Solid. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what did I do different? I don't know. I think I did something different, but... Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did. I know what I did. I knew it. Okay. We need... It's not doing the same thing as it did last time. We did this. Why is it not doing that? Okay, well, for you, there probably is little yellow things on the outside. And I don't know how to get that back. I don't know what I did differently. But um, there should be little yellow things. And um, you're going to want to like change. You're going to want to change those. And you're going to want to drag this this one right here. Down below the other one. Okay. So that's what you're going to want to do. For some reason mine doesn't have it. I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know. I'll have to go back and see what I did wrong. But um, yeah, you should you should have little yellow things. I don't, I don't know what I did wrong, but, yeah, so, if you get to do little, little yellow things, you should drag this little, like, curvy thing below this curvy thing, and then it should work, it'll look good, then. so, yeah. Okay, so I figured it out, it only took me, like, five minutes, um, so, I figured out why it's being stupid, so, what, what you're supposed to do is, for some reason, it was on, okay, well, for some reason, it was on this. You use point mode. I'm not sure why it was on that, but you gotta switch it to use model mode. And I'm not sure why it was doing that, and I didn't even know that existed. So, now you're gonna see we have little dots, and I wasn't just hallucinating. So, you're gonna wanna drag this dot below the other dot. And, 
yeah, it should, it should do that, and it'll look kind of confusing, but that's okay. So just drag it down there somewhere, that's, you know, all G. And, um, you're going to want to make sure that, like, this circle thing, you know, it's pretty well scaled, so, like, you know, the light's fitting well in there, and you're going to want to make sure your light's all good and stuff. I don't know, it looks decent. So let's go back to our camera and we'll render it out and see what it looks like. Alright, you can see now it's kind of foggy. And um, that's, that's what we're looking for. So let's go back to our light and we're going to want to play around with these settings. Maybe make it a little bit smaller, I guess. See how that looks. Alright, and see now it looks pretty epic, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Um, yeah, you can keep playing around with the light, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to really do all that much messing with the light and everything. Um, but you can see that there's some weird shadowing going on on the inside of the circle. And the way to fix that is um, we're going to just copy this light, control C V, and you'll make a second one. And this one, you're just going to want to flip it. Pretty much. Pretty much just flip it. Completely flip it to the other side. And, uh, well, to the bottom or whatever. And, um, I don't know, we're gonna make the. We want it on the other side, so it's pointing in, like, pretty much the complete opposite direction. That's. So you just wanna make sure it's in the opposite direction. So, like that. That's pretty much. That's what we're looking for here. And, um, this one, you don't want noise on this one, so that'll mess it up. Turn down the um, the illumination or the intensity on this one a little bit, just so you can just kind of get a little bit of illumination from the other side. Alright, and that looks that looks pretty good. If I do say so myself. Alright, that looks pretty good. Um, so now I'm just going to turn my render settings back on. And see what it looks like. This will pretty much be what the final copy looks like. And I apologize for my render speeds, but I've been doing a lot of stuff on this computer today. And it's kind of feeling the effects. If you know what I'm saying. And okay, now almost done. Okay, so that's pretty much that's what it looks like right there. So that's pretty. I would say that's pretty sick. Um, obviously you guys are probably gonna have better materials than me, but. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, um, you can definitely keep messing with the noise or doing everything. You know, doing every whatever you want. I don't know what velocity does, so don't touch that. 
Um, but yeah, definitely just keep messing around with it. And um, you can get something pretty darn cool. So yeah, that's that's my tutorial. Um, no, that's pretty much all I So yeah, that's pretty much all I have. Um, oh, one other thing, as you can see. Jeez. All right, as you can see that um, in mine, it has like a little outline around the text. Um, that's just because you couldn't really see it. Um, so how I did that is pretty simple. I have a tutorial on it already, but that's that's all you need to do for that is just MoGraph. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Do um, text line circle. Uh, sweep nerves. Um, just make the text exactly how you made the other one, in the exact same place. And just stick it all in the sweep nerves. Nope. All right. And then you just drag it forward a little bit. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit off. But you can easily just. Oh, dang. Oh, my gosh. Stupid freaking camera. Alright. Um, yeah, you can just straighten that out. Is it X? Yeah. So you know how to straighten it out. And then. Just that, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So um, that just makes a little bit of an outline on it. So if it's if it's dark and hard to see, you can just outline it with like some. Um, but yeah, that, that's how you do it. So you can even make it here, another another great idea. You can make it like neon or something. Just do that. Uh, it looks pretty horrible because I'm trying to make it grungy, but if you aren't, then you can make it like neon like that. I don't know. Whatever. Up to you. Um, but yeah, that's how you make vines and then like sort of an epic uh, background thingy. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. If it was, leave a nice little comment down in the description. So yeah, see you guys later. Take care.